Hello everybody, this is Doug the Two Minute Gardener. Today we're going to look at how to convert a lawn into a hummingbird garden. Oh, I love hummingbirds. They are just so entertaining the way they dart and dash. And a hummingbird garden will actually use less water and be more colorful than an old nasty lawn. So here in Southern California there actually are programs paying you to convert your lawn to drought tolerant gardens. And one of the ways you can have a drought tolerant garden is to have a hummingbird garden garden so let's look at all the different steps first you got to get rid of the lawn you can obviously do this by hand but I also recommend you rent a sod cutter which will rip up that lawn and dispose of it a whole lot easier than just doing that once you have ripped it all out now again you want to rip out the lawn but you got to go down at least four inches to make sure you get all that grass you might even find it necessary to do a little spot spraying of some of that grass once it is completely out like you see this once you've got it down this is a great opportune time to do a little bit of soil amendments now depending on the kind of soil you have there's lots of different amendments and also depends on obviously where you live I love using this grow mulch and rototilling that in to really get the soil nice and loose once you have done that the next step is to lay a weed barrier this will really be helpful for cutting down the maintenance down the road and so this is a landscape fabric a heavy-duty landscape fabric you lay it out and make sure that you actually overlap the seams so that you really get a good coverage on it so lay that where barrier down next up before you get going any farther is to look at your irrigation system because you now have uh, an irrigation system where before you usually had pop-up sprays to spray a whole lawn it's a great opportunity to convert that to drip irrigation I'm not going to get into all the particulars of drip irrigation I have other videos for that but basically before you start planting everything you want to make sure you have your drip valves laid out and retrofitted for doing drip irrigation you can't just splat snap slap a spaghetti uh, adapter on it you actually have to install a drip valve with a pressure reducer and a filter on it and then you can lay the irrigation but you want to do those valves first before you start laying out plants and all that kind of stuff and this is what a drip irrigation valve looks like all right now you've done all the boring stuff let's plant some plants so now that you're laying all the plants out and this is what I always like to do with these kind of gardens is to lay a mountain and again visualize how much space are these plants going to take up once they reach full maturity so lay that out but don't crowd it too much remember these guys are going to grow and then you're going to basically from there cut holes in that landscape fabric and lay them all and plant them all in now one thing that's really important when you're planting these plants in and here's one that hummingbird couldn't even wait to get planted it was planted and we haven't finished anything else and already the hummingbird was all over this hot lip sage by the way i will show you 10 wonderful hummingbird plants at the end of this video that i always recommend for doing hummingbird gardens all right we'll come back to this guy all right see you little fella anyway so when you're planting these plants it's really important that you also uh, use a nice slow release fertilizer um, I love these best packs these are great for feeding for realistically six months it sells says 12 months but I always tell folks these are good for six months of slow release feeding okay so you've planted them you've put your slow release fertilizer in there and now you're going to do the adjustment on the irrigation you're going to run those lines and make sure you run those emitters to it now with those landscape drip emitters they come in different gallons per minute so you know make sure look up what you know what your plants need in your local area as far as drip irrigation finally and this is really important you want to make sure to put down a really good mulch on top of it at least two inches of wood chip mulch three or four is better depending on where you live and how hot your summers get by the way I always love recommending these dry stream beds as well those are really nice to include in any kind of drought tolerant garden hummingbird garden they kind of help redirect runoff it's actually a requirement in the city of San Diego for the lawn removal rebate to do some kind of bioswell to reduce runoff so it's one of those things that you have to do if you want to get the rebate and by the way talking about rebates this is kind of unique for Southern California but I bet more places will start doing this they actually pay you three dollars a square foot to remove your lawn and plant these plants speaking of the plants 
let's talk about some of my favorite hummingbird plants. So this one is Chiapa sage, wonderful plant blooms almost all year, a little frost sensitive, but still a wonderful plant. This is this orange cigar kufia plant, really nice plant. Yeah, I just love that kufia. It's really great, kind of a self-cleaning plant. Now this is obviously a butterfly bush. Butterflies love it, but hummingbirds love it too. And a lot of plants you can use for butterfly gardens, also you can use for hummingbird gardens. There's similar watering needs. So I definitely recommend a butterfly bush, Kind of treat it like a rose bush, prune it down in the winter for the best results. Another wonderful plant that hummingbirds love is, of course, the foxglove. Now, be a little careful, a little poisonous, so good for front yards, maybe not backyards. And as you saw earlier, that uh, hummingbird just loved hot lip sage. Great, great plant for hummingbird gardens. And here's one that's kind of local for us Californians. This is the California fuchsia, an actual native plant. Really wonderful, a very drought tolerant, great orange flowers. Hummingbirds love oranges and reds uh, with their flowers. It's easy for them to find. Different kinds of salvias will always fit. This one's a nice indigo spires. Really beautiful, beautiful plant. Um, but lots of different salvias. Now, other things that are not salvias, like this lion's tail. Again, orange tubular flowers. This is a nice big plant. Gets about six feet tall, so nice and big for a focal point type of garden. And, of course, my favorite, what I have, here's mine, that Mexican bush sage. I love my Mexican bush sage. Just a fabulous plant. Cape honeysuckle, big giant plant, lots of tubular flowers. Here's a fun one if you can find it. This is pineapple sage. This is a wonderful plant. The foliage actually smells like pineapple. It's kind of one of the cooler, more interesting plants out and about that you can find for a really hummingbird garden. And of course, kangaroo paw comes in all kinds of colors. You have big kangaroo paws, little kangaroo paws, comes in reds and yellows and oranges. Really great cut flower too, but a very good hummingbird level plant. Well, those are some of my favorite hummingbird plants to have in your hummingbird garden. And those are the basic steps on how to convert your lawn to a hummingbird garden and just kind of have a really nice low maintenance, lots and lots of color. Um, basically, most of these plants you only need to trim a twice a year, like this Mexican bush sage. Just whack it twice a year, as you've seen in so many other videos. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to get more of my garden videos. Until next time, this is Doug, the two-minute gardener, saying thanks for watching.